It's Mad Science Channel and today we will show you what microorganisms live in lakes in the city. And a new microscope costing $1000 will help us with it. Interested? Let's go then! The video is an educational one. It demonstrates the micro world surrounding people. We have long planned to prepare a series of videos on such an interesting aces as the micro world. Naturally, for such a trip we will need an appropriate equipment. To put it simply, a microscope. Our choice is Levenhock 870T. The cost of it is $1000, which is confined by the corresponding check that you see on the screen. Why this particular model? Quality was the priority criterion, which we used in the process of selecting possible options. As a result, we choose the model Levenhock 870T, equipped with plain achromatic lenses. The latter provide high-definition images across the entire field of observation and are also characterized by good color production, which makes it possible to successfully apply them in daily work within various medical institutions, universities, uh, EDC. The maximum magnification reached 2000 times. Such a microscope also weighed a lot, just under 7 kilograms. The package includes special containers for storing lenses when the microscope is to be transported. And in the box there were paid eye species with a magnification of 10 and 20 times. Looking ahead, we used the camera instead. Also, the package includes three color filter blue, green, and yellow. Levenhock 870T is equipped with a built in backlight. In this case, the microscope can be used without connecting to the power grid by focusing the light flux using a mirror. The model supports the connection of special branded cameras. Their cost is quite high, about $4000. We decided to go a different way and connected a conventional DSLR camera to the microscope. In particular, we have made a special adapter that is to be installed on the camera. After that, this construction should be attached to the microscope. In addition to Levenhock 870T, we purchased a set of ready-made specimens for the study. Its cost was $40. The value of this set is not only in the samples, and in fact, there is even human blood but also in the presence of a set of slide and cover glasses, which allows you to make specimens for the study of your own. First of all, we will study the water. It is extremely important for the mice and men, and its quality plays a crucial role. For a human, not every water will be safe even for bathing. The level of the pollutions varies gravely and depends on a large number of factors. We have to admit that humidity itself makes a significant negative contribution into this by not really caring about the protection of the environment and water resources. It is logical to assume that the situation with water pollution will be worse in industrial zones, as well as in the places where a large number of people gather in relatively small areas, simply put, in large cities. What can be found in a sample of water taken from a lake within a large city with more than a million inhabitants? We will learn it very soon. First, you need to get samples. It is better to draw water from the lake into special test tubes, but you can also do it with ordinary clean containers. Actually, we choose the second option, since the necessary laboratory equipment was not at hand at that moment. Previously, we studied the water in the place where it was planned to take samples from as it would provide more reliable results. A quick look at the water samples does not provide enough information. It seems completely clean. No impurities are visible. But is it really so? Let's take one drop and place it under the microscope using a slide and cover glass. In the process of studying, we will use several samples of water, but their change in the video will not be visible. The first research led us to such a living organism. Most likely this is a representative of the type of silates, Chileophora, but it was not possible to establish the exact species identity. Perhaps you are familiar with this organism? If yes, write it in the comments. The study of water at maximum magnification led to the discovery of the following microorganism. 
What is it remains a mystery to us, but it must be admitted that it looks extremely unusual and interesting. By the way, we noticed the next object to be studied with the naked eye. There was a small worm in a jar of water. It was decided to consider it in more detail, under certain conditions and the correct choice of the lens. You can see all its internal organs. Then we again stumbled upon a representative of the type of silates. The species could not be determined. On the screen you can notice something similar to a long seaweed. It is knotted. We see a living organism again. And now a colony of vorticellid slates is in front of you. These species live a colonial non-mantil life. Sometimes they can also be found on the shells of mollusks. Outwardly they are very reminiscent of the bells, which are attached to the substrate by a long spring. By nature what is silates are predators. Their main food is various bacteria of winter that enter the mouth with the flow of water. The species of the next microorganism could not be established either. Outwardly it resembled a representative of the type Rotifers, Rotifera. We also found a creature resembling a green Euglenoviridis of the Eglanoso type. Here you can see Perimacum caudato, which are located on a small stretch of soil. Daphne was in the water sample. At the same time, it can be seen even with a slight magnification, since its size is about 1 mm. It means that it can even be detected with the naked eye, unlike microorganisms above. And in our sample there was also a duckweed leaf. Naturally, it also went under the microscope. At higher magnification, plant cells can be well viewed. The size of the duckweed sheet itself was only about a millimeter. The next object is such a shrimp. We caught it in our aquarium. Notice how well visible are the internal organs and the structure of the shrimp. Its size is about a centimeter. It is logical to assume that somewhere near it should be smaller inhabitants of the aquarium. The guess was right. It was found that along with the shrimp there were other organisms on the slight glass. One of them is visible near its moustache. With the help of a microscope you can well consider the ongoing processes inside the shrimp. At the beginning of the video, we said that we also purchased a set of ready-made samples for a study. As an example, we have installed one of them. Now you see the mosquito mouth. If you change the magnification, you can even consider the structure of the eye of an insect. Now you see another ready-made sample B limbs. It is clearly seen how big the claws of this insect are. The next specimen is a Drosophila fly. We see everything at the lowest magnification, since the objects are quite large. It is noteworthy that the Drosophila fly has quite impressive claws on its lamps. If you increase the magnification, you can well consider the structure of her eyes. That's all for today. If you are interested, like and share the video with friends. 
Want to see how something else looks under the microscope? Then in the comments write what exactly you are interested in. In order not to miss new releases, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. It was Mad Science Channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.